My name is Thea Wood. I'm the HR officer um, responsible for employee relations and well-being at the LGA. I've been here for about a year and a half and I work on employee relations policies and all things well-being. I think for us, you know, we are like a lot of other organisations. We kind of came to this through the cost of living challenges. Um, you know, we we knew that staff, um, some staff were experiencing issues with um, high energy cost and rents, mortgages, especially those that are in London, travel costs, et cetera, et cetera. So I think, you know, what we were looking for was a way to offer support, um, to give some sense of hope, give some sense of control to our staff, um, but in a way that enabled them to make the most of what they were already getting. Um, and, you know, mindful of the context that we're operating within, which is, you know, tightening budgets, um, et cetera, et cetera. So I think that's kind of where we were coming from. But also, I think going through this process and, and I think working with them yourselves, we've become much more aware of the link between financial well-being and mental health. I think it was it was sort of there on the edges, but we probably weren't as fully aware of that. So I think that's something that's really um come across during these um these workshops i think for me the finwell team have got this magical combination of being really knowledgeable being really expert in their field but also being down to earth and accessible enabling staff to feel safe um to open up about something that actually is quite still a little bit to do i think we're breaking down some of the barriers but it's still uncomfortable for some people and i think for me that's quite a rare thing to find that you've got people that are experts but break it down in a way that's really accessible um for other people and and provide that sort of safe space that's non-judgmental so that staff feel comfortable to ask anything um, so we have had um five workshops through Finwell, we've um, had the power plan, the cost of living um, challenge course, we've done the modern retirement um, course and getting on the property ladder. Um, we've also done one-to-one um, -one guidance sessions. And honestly, the feedback, in fact, I had the email this morning, the feedback has been fantastic. It's been really fantastic. I think staff have found it really educational. They've found the facilitators great, you know, really knowledgeable the way that the um, workshops have been run they're really they're interactive um but also safe so we've got the anonymous polling so that people can you know safely respond to to questions um the one-to-one -one guidance has been great and i think the team have made it very clear that it's guidance not advice um and then we've also had um access to lots of um the recordings of um, workshops and things which we've, we've put on our own um, website and also throughout the sessions the um, coaches always promote the um, sites that we have so they make reference to the um, information that we have on our own um, financial wellbeing hub. I think um, some of the challenges that we faced along the way was first of all getting senior management buy-in so I think our senior management um, like a lot of other organizations were concerned about um, opening up a can of worms. Did this mean that we were then going to be um, asked for uh, pay rises or, um, you know, changes to our benefits? And um, I think that was a real concern. I think there was concern and anxiety and confusion around the difference between what is education, what is guidance, what is advice? You know, are we going to be liable if we um, give out the wrong advice? So I think they they were some of the concerns that we um that we had at the beginning. But I think the team were very, very clear that, you know, whenever we have a session that they're not giving um, um advice, that they're giving education and guidance. And I think that has gone a long way towards alleviating some of the concerns. And also, I think the managers, because the senior management have seen how well the sessions have gone down. They've seen how well um the staff have responded. I think they have also started to relax and um, really, really appreciate the, the information that has been provided for their staff. Mm -hmm.